Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Bryce. I'm in the lab uh, messing around with my new M Audio um, Axiom Air 25 MIDI keyboard. Um, it's just pretty dope. Got 16 drum pads on it. You know, um, small little keyboard, you know, kind of nice little portable setup for a producer. Um, you know, kind of enhance the workflow. You know, I don't have to bounce back and forth between drum machine and a um, keyboard but uh make a long story short as promised i'm going to show you guys how to do this in logic pro now um as far as uh, setting up the mapping of your pads so like all you have to do is this it's really simple so all you have to do is go up into where you see uh logic pro x and you go down to uh, key commands so once you go into key commands you go into um, the edit mode okay so once you're in edit mode, you always click on uh, global commands. So like, let's see here. Let's go into global command. Okay, now you see the drop down. You have like the play, um, the pause, stop. See, these are just a lot of the general settings that a lot of people set as far as standard settings. So let's say like you want to um, set your play button to learn, um, you know, as like a pad trigger. So you would click on play. And what you would do is you would click on right here where it says learn new assignment. And when you click learn new assignment, you just go to your uh, MIDI keyboard and you tap the key that you want to assign to it. So after you do that and it's learned, you have to uh, uncheck that box. So let's see here. I'm going to close out of this. I programmed mine to uh, work off my play button. So let me hit the play button on my MIDI keyboard and let's see how this responds. works just fine now all you have to do is you know each time you want to set another key you just go back and you follow those same steps and you just go into a uh, logic pro x go down to key commands then you hit edit and you just you know navigate through here and just find each individual uh, pad that you want to assign um, a command to and you just click on it if you want to add play stop then you go down to where it says learn and you just keep repeating these steps. And that's pretty much how you go about assigning um, your buttons to your um, to your DAW. So, you know, hopefully um, I was able to help you guys out. Um, hopefully uh, this was a lot of um, education to help people get their, uh, you know, DAWs up and going. So good luck with that, guys.